Occupational Portraits Workers posing with the tools of their trade, 1850 to 1880 in the mid-19th century, a variety of men had staged pictures of themselves taken at work, from artisans and clowns to engineers and preachers, they chose to have their lives represented by the day-to-day -day activities of their occupations. A collection of bad album covers that are both hilarious and awkward 1960s to 1980s and album's artwork represents the first impression to many fans and it creates an aesthetic vibe about its music. In the days before the internet, bands would have to rely on their covers to catch the eye of any potential fans. When the British royals went to India for coronation in a hunting expedition 1911 George V, 1865 to 1936, King of Great Britain and Ireland from 1910, went to India in 1911 to be crowned Emperor of India in a great Durbar in Delhi on the 12th of December 1911. During these 10 hunting days, the king and his party killed 18 rhinos, 39 tigers, 4 sloth bears, several porcupines and leopards. The predators were baited with cattle tied up at the edges of the jungle. Marilyn Monroe in Between Shots, Without Her Signature Smile, 1957. Sorry man, you can't scowl your way into looking tough in a baby blue jumpsuit. Vintage advertising from 1970s. A camping party atop a fallen tree at the Sequoia National Park in California, 1917. The grizzly bear chair was a gift to President Andrew Johnson from hunter Seth Kinman in 1865. A British airman dropping a bomb by hand during the First World War. Photo from Imperial War Museum. The Sorceress Kit, a bizarre collection of about 100 trinkets found buried inside a box, in the garden of a house in Pompeii believed to be a fortune teller's toolkit. The box was likely used to perform fertility and love rituals and to look for omens about birth and pregnancy. These vintage photographs capture people crossing the famous Capilano Suspension Bridge in Vancouver, 1890-1910. Emil Gallo, a Czechoslovak plumber, standing in front of a Warsaw-packed tank and bearing his chest in a gesture of protest during the invasion of Czechoslovakia in August of 1968. On the night of the 20th to the 21st of August 1968 Soviet Union, Bulgaria, Poland and Hungary invaded Czechoslovakia. That night at least 250,000 troops and 2,000 tanks entered the country. During the invasion, 108 innocent civilians lost their lives. the blood-stained coat of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand. His assassination was the catalyst that started World War I. The Addis Wedding Set, Every Bride's Coming Home Outfit, 1970s. Archaeologists study a colossal Olmec stone head in La Venta, Mexico, 1947. Rat Catchers, Liverpool, 1933 Portable 20 megabytes hard drive from 1985 The Whole Family on the Vespa, 1950s A homeless man sleeps on the ground near the unfinished World Trade Center in New York City, 1970. People watching a television set for the first time at Waterloo Station, London, 1936.